So we are just wrapping up our delivery with Lisa Inc. And I have with me Colleen Wood from Customer Care. Um, so Colleen, you've been an awesome guest to have on this project with us for My outreach. Um, we looped you in probably maybe like a month, month and a half ago. And Something like that. Yeah, and you brought a great amount of expertise in terms of the furniture and whatnot. So just wanted to chat with you. Um, Kind of what have your overall thoughts been about the project and how does it represent like Bob's um, what Bob's likes to do in the community other than paper and a couple of conference calls my first exposure was when I came to the open house and you meet the people and it's always about right. the people right so um, Bob's is full of good people and so is Lisa Inc and I think there's a really clear relationship there um, you know Bob's gives back we've got a legacy of giving back as you know right. and um, we did it before we were a big company with, you know, over a hundred stores and all that kind of thing. I think we did it when we probably had one store and it's who Bob is and it's become our corporate DNA. So this, I, I think we have a tendency to um, help a lot of things with families and children and it's always been a little bit of a, an avenue that we've pursued. So these are young adults that are, you know, going to have a little bit better start for, because of what these people do and we're just... Right help them support them a little bit so it makes sense. No I agree and I think one of the interesting things about the population that Lisa Inc serves it's that like almost like a forgotten age from 17 to 23 you're not quite a kiddo anymore you're right. not a full adult like the services that they're able to provide those youth I think are super important. They're young adults. Yeah. Absolutely. And yep. they're being formed and, and you know there's a lot of things they've got to, we all had to learn at that right. age and some people aren't set up as successfully so this helps some of those kids. You've been here since 9 o'clock in the morning. We had a variety of people from Bob's yep. here. Um, can you kind of just talk us through how all the different areas from Bob's work together to make this a success? There's a lot of departments from merchandising, figuring out what product is going to make sure that we've got it available and mm -hmm. ready to go that fits the needs of the the charity um, of Lisa Inc. It's it's really a started with a site visit from our delivery mm -hmm. folks looking at where we're going to park the truck, literally through, are there any tight doorways, figuring out what the right product is, going back and revisiting a couple of things, because there's always something you don't know. Certainly you, you and your team, um, there's people in store operations mm -hmm. that are writing the orders, and then there's people in the distribution centers that help make it happen, and we had some adjustments on the fly, as, which is what happens. Yep. And then there's a whole bunch of people that come in and do the install and, and set it up and get to see the folks from the charity from Lisa get so excited. Yeah, it was great. Yeah. So I saw you upstairs before you were <laughs> dressing the beds. Yeah. Um, not sure if that was your favorite moment from the day, but I'm just curious, you know, what was, did you have a particular moment that stood out to you that, um, you know, really made your day? I think when I see the people, like, as it started to come together, cause it's, there's a lot of cardboard and styrofoam and things for a while, but then when it started to come together and, you know, some of the directors from Lisa, look they're like oh that table's gonna be great and mm -hmm. they start to talk about the things they can do with that table right. um, I think that's it but um, there was a young lady that I spoke with the night that I was here for the open house mm -hmm. who just a little few minutes ago came down and saw the furniture down here for the first time and her little face lit up yeah, you know she and she's like, excited. like yeah. that's nice you know I mean it was really cute yeah um, and that's when you know you're making a difference awesome yeah I think one of the most impactful things that I heard today was just hearing the Lisa folks talk about what this furniture is going to enable them to be able to do. So, you know, the desks that we donate, they're going to be doing vocational counseling. The girls are going to be applying for jobs. They're going to be doing their schoolwork. You know, some of the conversation chairs that we've got, and they're going to have house meetings. And right. so it's really kind of neat to see the furniture be brought to life through right. the services that they provide. Yeah, I heard somebody from Lisa speaking to somebody else, and they said that, you know, every one of these kids, when they come in tonight, is going to have a dresser, a bed, a table that nobody else has ever used before. Mm -hmm. And just how powerful and, and empowering right. that is. Because that hasn't that was, been the case. A lot of the things they had before were donated pieces that had right. been used before. So yeah, yeah, it's brand new stuff for yeah. them, which is great. Yeah, they deserve really it. really cool. Absolutely, yeah. they deserve it. And it's, you know, it's Christmas. I think the other thing that's great when we talk about Bob's legacy of giving is... I think individuals do this too, where you, you tend to give at Christmas or at Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. It makes you think of it, you're more grateful. But Bob's does it all year round, and right. that's something I'm super... It's by far the thing I'm proudest of in that's working awesome. for Bob's. Well, thanks for being here. I've appreciated having you here. And um, 
I can't wait to work on another project with you. I'm in the sure future. we will. Looks Yay. good.